I'm Nadia, and welcome to Navigating Teen Life. I'm here with Charlie and Anna, and today we're going to be talking about how to properly exercise. We've invited a special guest, Mitch, a physical therapist from UPMC Sports Medicine, to join us. So Mitch, when doing weight-bearing exercises, why do you think it's so important to use proper form? The number one reason is to avoid injuries. And then the second reason would be to make sure that you're having the correct benefit from the exercise, whether that be improving on your strength, your flexibility, or your mobility. One of the best ways to stay safe when exercising is to have a proper warm-up. To get started today, let's walk through a few basic warm-up movements. Let's start by jogging in place. Next, let's go through some high knees. Make sure you get your knees high. Next, we'll do some butt kicks. Make sure to get your legs up and behind you as high as you can. The next exercise in your warm-up is going to be hamstring walks. You're going to start with your left foot, kick your legs straight out, and reach forward. Then you'll do the same thing on your right. The next exercise in your warm-up is going to be sidestepping or shuffling. Make sure to go to your left and then to your right. The final exercise in your warm-up is the karaoke step. Make sure to step in front and then behind and continue this as you move to the left and to the right. Always make sure to utilize a warm-up that gets the blood pumping and is dynamic versus a static warm-up, including seated exercises and standing still. So I'm usually in the gym for about five to six days a week. I usually do about three days arms and three days legs. Do you have any special tips to avoid injury? Yeah, I can definitely help with that. What kind of exercises do you like to perform? I usually do a lot of squatting. I do a lot of deadlifting. Awesome, those are all great exercises to work on your training. We can definitely go through them. First, let's take a look at the squat. Today we'll be performing a typical bodyweight squat without any resistance or bar on your back. Make sure your feet are firmly planted about shoulder width apart and your feet are evenly spaced. To begin the motion, you will stick your butt back and begin to bend at your hip and your knees simultaneously. As you lower, make sure to keep your core engaged and your back flat. Throughout this motion, make sure to keep your head in a neutral position by looking at a spot about six feet in front of you on the floor. Another variation of a body weight squat to progress to is a front weight squat. Today we'll be using a 15 pound kettlebell at your chest. Make sure to hold the kettlebell close to your chest as you continue with the same squat form as you descend and then come back to a standing position. The next exercise we'll take a look at is deadlifting. There are many forms of deadlifting, including using free weights, a straight bar, or a hex bar. And today we'll be using the hex bar which surrounds your body. It is a good option to use the hex bar because it helps to keep your center of mass right over top of your body, which is good for beginner lifters who haven't done a lot of the lifting of a deadlift or those who are coming back from an injury. To begin the exercise, it's similar to the squat. You're gonna begin with your feet shoulder width apart and your feet firmly planted on the ground. To pick up the bar, you will bend down at your hips and your knees, keeping your back flat. Make sure to focus your vision on an object that's six to eight feet in front of you on the ground. To begin the exercise, push through your heels and dig into the ground while keeping your back flat and your abs engaged. Squeeze from your butt as you come up to a complete standing position. To lower, slowly control and shift your butt back and begin to bend at your knees and your hips as you control the bar back to the ground. When thinking about these exercises, it's very important to maintain core strength as well. One of the best exercises to improve on your core strength is a plank. Let's go through a typical forearm plank now. Good form with a forearm plank involves keeping your pressure on your toes, engaging your core and keeping your back flat, keeping equal pressure through your forearms, and making sure you squeeze your butt muscles nice and tight. So Mitch, I'm a tennis player. Are there any exercises you recommend when I train? Yeah, absolutely. Similar to tennis players, a lot of overhead athletes such as baseball pitchers, volleyball servers, they need to work a lot of the muscles that stabilize their shoulder and helps create some of those explosive movements. Some of those exercises include resistance bands, some of them are more like push-ups and things you'd see in the gym, and we can go through some of those today. One of the best exercises for tennis players and overhead athletes is to perform external rotation to strengthen the rotator cuff. It is important to strengthen the rotator cuff to help the stability and strength of your shoulder. One of the first exercises you can perform is external rotation with your arm at your side. By using a resistance band, you can bring your arm with your elbow at your side and rotating your forearm slowly out to the side. As you can see, keep your posture nice and tall as you perform this exercise. In order to progress this exercise, you can increase the resistance of the band, or you can actually modify the exercise to bring your elbow up and out to the side. You can perform the same external rotation by rotating your forearm up towards the sky, 
with the TheraBound resistance. Well, it looks like we are just about out of time for today. Thanks, Mitch, for joining us. I know we all learned a lot today. Yes, I found the demos to be super helpful. Next time I visit the gym, I'm going to use what we learned. If you found this demo helpful, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any more questions, please remember you can always ask your pediatrician or an expert at UPMC Sports Medicine. See you next time.